Okay guys, Toby's bathed now. We, we bathed them, we fluff dried them. Uh, we're just going over them now with the snap-on comb. We got a number two snap-on comb here. So um, just going over them. Um, again, we talked about, you know, being an older guy, skin could be very sensitive. Um, you know, he's got a lot of growths in his belly. So you gotta be real, real careful with that. We don't wanna poke it with the, uh, the snap-on comb in any way. So just uh, going real smooth. You know, we're placing the clippers on real, real smooth. Uh, we're not working too, too fast. Um, but we're going to make them look beautiful. You know, we'll make them look great. We're on towards the end of our day now, too. You know, we got a 13 dog day. Um, and we got to get Toby out. You know, he wants to go home. He wants to go home. And um, so we're going to try to work. You know, efficiently, but yet, you know, slow enough where we're still making him just feel comfortable. Right, Toby? Right, buddy? Huh? You're doing great, buddy. You're doing so good, Toby. Good boy, Toby. See how he's pulling away on his leg? I'm doing real gentle, real gentle. He pulls away, I let him go. Just reset him, you know? Reset him. There you go. Nice and gentle. You see that? Real gentle there. If he pulls away, just let him go. Reset him. You never want to pull on an older dog's leg like that, you know? Be very arthritic, you know? Just work around him. I'll lift him again here. I'll get the inside. I'll let him pull away. I'll reset. There you go. Just reset. We'll get the rest with the scissors. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, guys. Just get it done. There you go, Toby. It's all right. It's okay, buddy. There you go, Tobe. See, I let you go. I let you go, Toby. You're a good boy, buddy. You're such a good boy. You're such a good boy. I love you, Toby. I love you, buddy. You're so good. You're such a good boy, Toby. I love you. I want to finesse that too, though. See how I'm placing the snap-on comb on him? You know, being real careful to just kind of place it on him softly. Nice and smooth, you know. So that you're going with the contour and with his body, so, you know, have to be careful with any little growths. And you don't want to hit it. These, these, these snap-on combs, if you notice that, they're very sharp. See the tip of that? It's very sharp. If he has any warts or anything, this will pop it right open. You know, so you have to be very, very careful. And work slowly. Work slowly. And keep your eye open. If you see any growths, you know, you got to work around it. Now, I... I, I get this question a lot. I get, you know, how do you get the dog to stay so still on the table? Um, and the answer to that is, you know, we trained him. We, we've table trained Toby, you know, um, and he's used to it. Um, we're going to talk more about that in future videos on how to table train your dog um, because it's very, very important. You, you, you can't really achieve anything that we're doing here without the dog being cooperative and being table trained you really can't do a whole heck of a lot so that's that's half the battle right there very important often overlooked you know and the, the, the fine line here is here we have an older dog right he doesn't have what a whole lot of table time you know he can't stand here for a long period of time he's older you know so you got to get the job done um, and, and still try to do a good job and keep him comfortable and, and get him off the table because after a while they'll start to tire um, so I, I like to work 
older dogs in parts, give them lots of breaks in between. So, uh, you know, if you're a groomer out there, you know, give your dog, you know, don't overbook yourself and give your dog a little break. Give all your dogs a little break in between. And if you're a pet owner, um, you know, try not to rush your groomer. You know, if, 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 if they're taking extra time, it's usually because, you know, for good reason, you know, they want to, want to, uh, give the dogs a break in between, you know? It's just, you know, it's hard for them to stand here. You know, you know how do, they don't necessarily like being groomed, they tolerate it at best. Um, so how do you, you know, how do you, you know, mix those two, you know? You want to uh, keep the dog as comfortable as possible, but yet get the job done. I'm doing his leg again. Same thing with that other leg. If he pulls away, see, I'm just letting him, just, just let him. You don't want to yank on him, you know? All, all dogs are different, too, guys. Um, you know, you approach them all differently. Part of, part of our job as dog groomers is, you know, to you know, get into their personalities, too, you know? I may approach a different dog a different way because, uh, you know, they might not like a certain thing and they might save that whatever they don't like for last. And even as the dogs get older, like Toby, like, you know, I approach them totally different now than I did even five years ago because and he's older, you know. So, he, you know, you have to have a totally different approach towards him, you know. It's, it's, it's constant learning. This whole thing is just constant learning. You know, you're always going to learn something new about grooming these guys. You know, um, so yeah, you know, uh, you, you you have to learn to adapt. You know, the uh, to whatever the dog might be feeling. You know, and they're all different. You know, they're 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 moody. They're like we are. They get moody. You know, um, I find that on on rainy days, if it's raining a lot outside, and yeah, the dogs, you know, they they're just like us. They don't want to go out. You know, they'd rather be home curled up on their favorite pillow too on a rainy day. But you know, that's grooming day. So whenever there's a rainy day, we always expect, you know, ah, the dogs are probably going to be a little antsy. That's all right. You adapt. You adapt. You know, we, we have that reason. The dogs don't, can't reason like that. So it, they, they, they trust us to reason for them. And that's the beauty of these animals is that, you know, they trust you. I trust you. you know. and, and like I, like I said before, Toby's always been such a sweet, sweet dog. I, you know, I owe him. You know, I, I owe this guy. You know, right, Toby? Right, buddy? Oh, you're such a good boy, Toby. I love you. Same thing we did before gonna lift that up create that little separation be real careful you see this is the ear right there so it's gonna create a line right there come across like that and come this way with it there you go this is just part of doing a poodle head come around back like that and comb this forward a little bit over his eyes again I know this is hard to watch, guys, you know, um, but, you know, I've been doing this a really long time, and Toby's been doing it a really long time. Give m most of the credit to Toby, not even me. Give it to Toby, because look at how good he is, okay? He, it, with, without him being so, you know, um, obedient right now and and just trustworthy we, we wouldn't be doing any of this you know he would be bouncing off the wall which a lot of dogs do um, and it takes a lot of training a lot of patience you know and, and it's up to the dog it's up to the dog and it's up to it's up to you um, you have to gain their trust though you know um, people underestimate the amount of training that goes into grooming. You see, you have to train the dog to get groomed, um, along with other things, 
house breaking, all that stuff, the, the normal stuff that we all know. But there is a training process in the grooming itself. And uh, that takes a lot of patience. And they don't get it right away, you know, it takes, it takes a while. You know, but you can see how good Toby is. Because he trusts us, you know, Toby trusts us. And we trust him, you know. Toby's an absolute angel. You know, he, he, he already knows he's almost done. He's looking forward to being done. And, and I'm looking forward to being done. You know? It's accomplishment. It feels like an accomplishment when you make the dog feel better. You know? And guys, you know, you notice my left hand here. You know, I'm not I'm not choking him at all. You know, I'm just I'm just supporting his his neck here. You know, don't don't ever apply any pressure there. I'm just literally just supporting his head. Okay, we're not we're not choking him. It may seem that way, but that's not what's happening. You know, I'm actually holding him very very gently. You know. And again, see, if I were choking him, he wouldn't even be able to move his head. You know, just you know, I let him. I let him do what, whatever he wants to do, you know, and we'll work around it. And once, you know, and then again, like I always say, and then you do a little reset. Okay? You get him back this way. It's okay, Tobes. Oh, you good boy. And then you just reset. There you go. You know, there's no, you shouldn't put yourself under a strict time restraint, especially when you're doing an older dog like this. Now give yourself enough time. You know, because it takes a long time. It takes a long time to do this. You know, and just again, give it up for Toby. You know more than me. You know, because that this you know this little guy is doing so good right now. He's being more patient than me right now. You know. Dogs are very, very smart. They, after a grooming, they go home and they get so much attention from their family, from their kids and, you know, and their, their owners and the children in the house and everybody dotes over them and the dogs are very, very smart. They know why, you know? So they associate going to the groomer with getting a lot of attention. Again, guys, I know it's hard to watch, it's, but just, I'm being real, real careful. Trust me, I'm being real, real careful, you know. You know and, and if it doesn't come out great, that's okay. If, if, if risking hurting or cutting the dog in any way uh, compromises the job, uh, compromise the job. Don't hurt the dog. All right. It's okay, Toast. All right, work on his mustache a little bit. Again, what we did before was we, we took a little bit off in the prep. So it just saves time now, you know. Saves time doing it now. It's okay, Toby. Oh, you're a good boy. I know, buddy. You're getting tired. Don't worry. We are almost done, Toby. I mean, just five more minutes and you'll be off the table. You'll be back in the cage. You'll be nice and comfortable, buddy. Coming up underneath Toby here. <laughs> you know. Any, any any way you can get it, get it, you know. Sometimes I come this way and underneath, you know. Um, and uh, it's just another way to do it. You know, coming like this. You're coming underneath, almost scissoring upside down, you know. <laughs> There's Toby. Yeah, Toby, you're almost done, buddy. Are you almost done and you know it, Toby? You're such a good boy, buddy. Oh, Toby, I love you. All right, guys. You know what? We're we're gonna we're gonna spray Toby down. You know, he he's he's had enough, and you know what? He looks good. Um, you know, doesn't always have to be perfect. You know, especially with these older guys. You know, you gotta give them a break. You know. You know, when Toby was was younger, you know, he could stay on the table a lot longer, and we'd do, you know, really, really much better job. And but right now, like you could see, look, he's 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 tired. You know, he's had enough. So we call it. You know, 
or just looking out for Tobes. And, not to mention, he looks beautiful anyway. Toby, you would look beautiful no matter what. I love you, Tobes. Okay, guys, uh, thanks again for tuning in. And, uh, you know, if you have any questions, please, you know, like, share, and subscribe. Um, you know, we want to we wanna get as much information, uh, you know, what you guys want to hear. And, um, you know, yeah, just thank you so much. And, again, give it up for Tobes. Here it is, Toby. Well, good boy, bud. Good job, Toby. Good job, buddy.